introduction, but lest there be anybody in doubt, let me declare that I am Isaac Holden, Member of Parliament for Keithley, and I wish to address you on the subject of the forthcoming general election in this year 1886. You'll know I have worked, served many years in Parliament in the Liberal Party, under the leadership of Mr. William Gladstone. Thanks to Mr. Gladstone's Reform Acts, some of you will be able to vote this year for the first time, as previously, if you were a working man, you were barred from doing so. Thanks to Mr. Gladstone's achievements, the working people have many more rights than ever before. Thanks to Mr. Gladstone's work, the rotten boroughs have been abolished. As you look on me, you may see a man of power and privilege. What you may not know is that I am a working man. I started work at 10 years of age in a cotton mill, but I resolved to better myself by attending night school. I worked to become a teacher. I worked to become a bookkeeper. I worked to understand the manufacture of worsted cloth. I worked to perfect my inventions and make my company the largest wool combing business in the world. My two mills here in Bradford and in Paris employ 4,000 working people. I believe in hard work, but I believe also that the working man can better himself and should be given the opportunity to do so. Mr. Gladstone's reforms have helped to bring great improvements to the life of working people, and I am proud to have served alongside him. And I ask that you do me the very great honour of returning me to Parliament as your representative in a new Liberal administration. Remember, our opponents, the Tories, are led by Lord Salisbury, a man whom the newspapers have dubbed a state socialist, a man who would take away the independence of the people 